school football player who took a hit on the field that has changed his life forever. He's only 15 years old and learning to live with a spinal cord injury. Local 10 Sorrell Fournay spent time with him today and is live in Homestead to share the story with us right now. Terrell. And because of this major debilitating injury, this 15 year old has not been back to school here at Homestead High. Instead, he is now taking classes online, but he is surrounded by a very strong support system, a team very determined to help him through this very difficult chapter. After a three month stay in the hospital for a life altering spinal cord injury, Frederick Clemson is back home. I appreciate all of them for the support. That support from his high school classmates to Miami Dolphins players who signed helmets and personal jerseys and even from his own mom. He probably had dreams of playing against the players, but those dreams were shattered. The 15 year old's world changed last September when he collapsed on the football field as a player for Homestead High following a helmet to helmet hit. Fred, affectionately called Cheeks, has been paralyzed from the neck down ever since. Today, his living room is now his bedroom with a hospital like bed. Look, man, when I'm talking to Fred, I'm talking to myself. You know, it's been four months for him. It's been 25 years for me. Fred's biggest inspiration so far has been in a newfound friendship with Felton Brown, a former high school football player himself who was left paralyzed years ago. Smile for me, Chad. Give it to me. Let the girl see it. Let him see it. <laughs> you know what I mean? He's still smiling, man. When Felton came, it was like it really motivated him to see like somebody in the same situation. A lot of energy helped me get through the day sometimes, you know. Tell me to stay strong and positive and stuff like that. Keep going. A contagious bond that Fred's mother now shares with Felton's mother. She's in her 30s. I was in my 30s. Both our sons were, were is 15. My son was 15 when it happened. The major thing he needs is, is transportation, being that he has a, a power wheelchair. And Fred has not given up hope, but because of that need, as you can imagine, the specialized transportation and also an endless amount of therapy is very, very expensive. And that is why this family has set up a GoFundMe page to try and help uh, pad some of those costs. If you are interested in donating, all you have to do is log on to our website at local10.com. There you will find a link to help Fred and his family get past this very difficult period in their lives. Mm. We are live at Homestead tonight. Terrell Fournay, Local 10 News.